and the patches of fog this morning that could cause some slowdowns. But as long as this cloud cover is moving around too, it'll keep that fog patchy. It does lead to temperatures being a little warmer this morning, starting out in the upper 60s. So that is where we are kicking off your week here, at least quiet with patches of fog. And then we'll round out today with that umbrella ready. So you can see where the sky clears late morning, nice and quiet. And then we start queuing up a few showers and storms. So the higher humidity impacting your morning lows starts to create spotty rain and storms into the early afternoon. Isolated rain and storms in the Smokies plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line. There's a couple trying to pop up in the valley with a mix of sun and clouds, spotty rain and storms developing, becoming more scattered. Four o'clock we'll have some on and off rain and storms from the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line pushing east. So then it's still spotty Knoxville and east at six. And then here's a batch of rain and storms actually moving on to the plateau, pushing east across the area. So by 7 p.m. evening hours, better coverage of our area as a whole and rain and storms throughout the valley, Tennessee, Kentucky line. Then that moves up into the foothills and mountains to far northeast Tennessee, too. So a batch of scattered rain and storms comes through in the evening, right back down to spotty. So we're not all getting rainfall we may want or need, but there is at least some much needed rain here with some pockets of this half an inch to some isolated inch plus rainfall in these bands of blue. But again, that scattered coverage as that pulls across our area from one side to the other. And then we're looking at some better rain chances at times this week. So for today, it's spotty to scattered this afternoon to evening. That'll take us from 69 degrees at 7 to 84 at noon. High today, 89 degrees. We're still warm. We're still steamy. Again, that's what fuels that evening coverage of rain and storm. So as they start developing this afternoon, kind of vi visual reminder, audible reminder when you hear a rumble of thunder, have that rain gear ready. That'll get you closer to 89 today in Knoxville and 90 in Loudoun. First alert forecast where you live, 83 Crossville to 82 in Jamestown. Warm into 83 in Oneida and 85 La Follette to 84 Middlesbrough. Get a couple afternoon storms there before they really spread out better. 88 Dandridge to 86 in Rutledge. Now for tomorrow, I think we'll stick with the spotty coverage throughout the day. So you can see some layers of fog and clouds first thing in the morning, more sun, isolated rain and storms in the Smokies. There's some spotty rain and storms afternoon, plateau to northeast Tennessee, but really just some strands of isolated rain and storms throughout the day. So we're kind of setting the stage today, kicking up a few at times tomorrow, spotty in the evening as well. So we'll just keep it isolated, keeping the umbrella with us, but still isolated rain and storms until a midweek cold front gets closer. That'll actually help to drive up that coverage on Wednesday. So for tomorrow, we're still on that steamy side going from 68 in the morning, well above average, 80 at 11, high tomorrow 89, cranking up that heat and the humidity, and then we'll crank up this front. So in the morning on Wednesday, notice that already starts becoming scattered. So that's where it hops back up in coverage on and off rain, some rumbles of thunder in the morning to midday. Then a batch helps to spread out a bit better Wednesday afternoon to evening with that front passage. So that'll be a better coverage here to get us some good rainfall. But the key here is it's really kind of flowing in a little steadier than uh, not uh, everyday front. And that's because we're keeping an eye on the Gulf that can actually help to feed up through that front. And then it can help to feed up potentially more winds and more rain on Friday. So we're keeping an eye on that track too. So if that system comes straight up from the Gulf here, we're keeping an eye on some 40 plus mile per hour gusts on Friday and some heavier rainfall as that system cuts through the region and leaves cooler, spottier showers by the weekend. But that does also mean we're keeping an eye on that exact track of this heaviest rainfall from that system too. So feeding into the front as well as that exact track on how much rain can really be delivered to East Tennessee. I'd say on the high end, but definitely that potential is there on the high end. We're watching that potential for several inches of rain to come through our area by the end of the week. So in your first alert eight day planner, this will cool us down with that cold front Wednesday. There's the lull Thursday. And then again, Friday is when we're watching the Gulf for you here and those exact impacts of heavier rainfall and gustier winds, a lingering some showers in the region into early next week, but also chipping away at that heat.